So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Bartomi Burkot, and in my daily day-to-day -day activity, I work as software developer. Today, I will talk about uh, development. Uh, the portal, which I will talk, uh, has very easy to remember name. This is gdzieautobus.pl. <laughs> Don't worry, the people in Poland they understand it. It, it means where is the bus. So this is my hobby project, which I developed it after my working hours. Uh, it shows the positions and uh, positions of buses and trams live, and it uses only open software and open data. When I found the uh, interesting data, I mean the API with the locations, I decided that I will um, create such portal because there is uh, useful uh, information in it. But I wanted to do it after my work time, so I decided uh, to spend uh, 20 evenings. Well, evening, it means one hour or any hours I spend in one day after afternoon. Uh, I did this limitation to have a balance between my private time and my work time. Uh, so uh, I will show you a short history, how this went. My assumption was 20 evenings. I hosted the server, I uh, developed the application, deploy it, and after 20 evenings, I get following result. So when we see on the map, we see uh, information which uh, from the first uh, look, we don't know what is it. There are points, uh, standard markers, the information is presented not in the convenient way, and also the performance was very bad especially in the mobile devices, and also sometimes these, these markers disappeared and appeared again, and the user was aware, you know, what is happening. So then I decided to put more effort to the development and to improve the user experience and the presentation, how, how, how I present the, um, the information on the map. I added the icon, which is, uh, I think, meaningful. I also um, applied this clustering uh, to uh, increase the performance in the browser. Uh, then I also found that when, we, I, when I rotate the image, then it shows where, which direction the bus is moving. Uh, then I wanted to avoid this effect that the marker is disappearing and appearing in different place, so I implemented such uh, movements and motion with the transform trick in CSS. And uh, in the end, I also was not happy with the performance in the mobile, so I uh, implemented such uh, workaround that I remove all markers from the, mar from the map before the user starts, starts operation, like move, uh, zooming or moving. And then after that, I adding everything. It works more efficient than having all markers still on the map. Uh, so what was the reality about the time effort? So I planned to spend 20 evenings for it. Actually, then I decided to extend it, but in the end, it turned out that it was more than 50 evenings with bug fixing and uh, re-implementing so, some, some features. And in the development, there is some rule or some principle that if we plan something for one week, we declare two weeks to be sure that we will be right on time. But in the end, it turns out that it cost us six weeks. This was exactly the case in this application. So have fun uh, to visit the web page. I put the link in the chat in this room uh, and enjoy seeing the results. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.